Hindustan Aeronautics is reviving its Nashik Su-30 production line to manufacture 12 units for the Indian Air Force, with the possibility of 72 more units and 8 to 12 units for Armenia. IIT Kanpur developed Kamikaze drone has completed lab tests, and full-scale trials will start within the next six months. India and Japan has signed an agreement for the co-development of Unicorn Stealth Mast for next-generation warships under India-Japan Defence Technology Cooperation. L&T has completed negotiations for the repeat order of 100 K9 Vajra with the Defence Ministry, and the contract value is higher than the previous order, due to factors such as inflation and exchange rate fluctuations. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has acquired advanced CNC machines that will enhance capability of manufacturing intricate jet engine components for cavalry engine project. The Indian Army has issued a request for information to procure a new generation anti-tank guided missile with 4 km range, suitable for both tripod mounted and vehicle mounted platforms. James Fisher Defence has signed a new contract with the Indian Navy, under which it will train local engineers in India to maintain these systems. The armies of India and Australia have started third edition of the Austrohend Joint Military Exercise at the Foreign Training Node in Pune. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has said that the maximum takeoff weight of Su-75 fifth-generation stealth fighter jet has been increased to 26 tons, similar to India's AMCA program, and it will be offered with an upgraded AL-51 F1 engine, which has shifted from the previously offered AL-41 engine. Russia has offered the exclusive production line of the Su-75 to India with export rights and will brief India on the new design changes and program progress at the Aero India 2025. Building on the success of Astra Mark II and Astra Mark III, that are nearing the completion of its development phase, the DRDO has begun the early stages of defining the technology like multi-mode seekers and dual pulse rocket motors required for Astra Mark IV, that will be tailored to meet the needs of next-generation air combat scenarios. The Astra Mark IV will involve advanced guidance and propulsion systems to target stealthy threats that fly at higher speeds and altitudes, and reports indicate that it could see prototype testing by the mid-2030. A top defense analyst has said that acquiring a small fleet of 12 upgraded Tu-160M bombers worth $3 billion will enable India to hold critical enemy targets at risk across a wide geographical area, as its range would permit India to launch long-range cruise missiles from various launch points over Indian territory deep inside enemy territory, and could also play a role in maritime security when armed with anti-ship missiles. Ground-based medium and long-range ballistic and cruise missiles are seen as cost-effective way to maintain strategic deterrence, but these ground-based systems require significant supporting infrastructure and have to be pre-positioned at fixed locations, making them vulnerable to preemptive strikes. Today's top 3 comments.